uh, we believe and, and support the, uh, the notion of the Enbridge pipeline. Uh, we think that uh, uh, it would be good for British Columbia, it would be good for Canada to, uh, to get a better price uh, in the world market for our oil. Uh, so that's, that's a, you know, our, our impulse then is to, is to support the notion of the, of the pipeline. But that's not uh, support that uh, um, goes without some restrictions. Uh, there's currently this environmental assessment that's underway. And uh, when that environmental assessment concludes, uh, the focus then will be on Enbridge to offer up its solutions to any of the uh, environmental issues that are raised by, by the... Um, uh, by the uh, the panel, and we think that um, that Enbridge, uh, we as a government, would look very very carefully at uh, at the so the solutions that are proposed, and if those solutions uh, uh, we were satisfied that those solutions were going to protect the environment and the best interests of British Columbians and the environment, uh, then we would uh, certainly allow that to, uh, and encourage the uh, the pipeline to be built. Um, but we think that it's a, the, the onus is, should be on government to uh, support these kind of projects, to let these companies know that, uh, that the government is in favor of them, um, because we need that kind of investment here in British Columbia. That's one of the reasons we're driving people out of here is because we're not, uh, government is not aggressively supporting uh, those companies that want to uh, develop uh, resources in this, in this province, be, whether it be mines or you know, logging or whatever. Um, those companies need to know that uh, that the government is supportive of them, and uh, but they also need to understand, of course, that uh, that there are expectations, and those expectations are that the uh, the uh, project will be in the best interest of British Columbians, and that the environment will be protected.